the We Call the Cypher. What's up, y'all? I am Safe your host, cool. Marcus the Kid Warren, and with me is my man Muff. How are you doing today, sir? I'm feeling good because today we're going to act. Let me get my other note. What are the notes? You got, you got more notes? I got notes. Man. You got more notes than me. Yeah, I, I got to make some more notes here. You got, look at all the notes you got, man. Like, I feel... I got everything, everything and nothing on these guys. I, I, I feel I'm just gonna grab everything I'm just gonna, and nothing. I'm just gonna grab some blank cards here just so I, I can feel more important. Hold no, on I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, go high tech on you. Yo, yo, turn, around, turn, turn around, turn around, turn around for a second. I'm gonna grab some 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 notes here. Let's so see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scribble some stuff on here. Check on, it. Just so I just so I have some stuff on these cards. So yeah, I don't I don't feel so bad. This 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 is this is what's going on. What's going on, dude? Today, yes, sir. We're gonna review mm -hmm. Jay Z's. Kanye's collaboration, Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne. And, uh, you know, it's been, and we, you know, we've been on hiatus. It's been a little while for us. So I know we, usually we are ahead of the game with a lot of this stuff. But because we've been on hiatus, this mm -hmm. album kind of came out afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, so we got to give it our review because, you know, we're big on Kanye West. We're mm -hmm. big on Jay-Z. You know, yes, that's, sir. that's just what it is, especially as far as your mainstream artists are concerned. Mm -hmm. So it's only right that we go ahead and give it a full-on review. Yes, sir. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's go right into it. All right. You know, um, are we starting overall? Do you want to go a little high? Where, where you want to start with this thing, man? Where, where you? Where are you with it? I'm gonna let you go ahead and set it off because I, well, I'm overwhelmed with. I can I can approach this from different angles. Well, you know, I I don't know if you know this about me, Muff, but I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Did you? You know, what I'm saying. Well, let me let me stop lying. I still collect comic books. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm still amazed. No, 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 no. I don't actually. I don't anymore. But anyway, the most exciting thing was. When you had two of your favorite superheroes that got together and, and was fighting one villain and stuff like that, right. you might have Spider Man and Iron Man or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> and you were so excited. Nice analogy. When you, when you, when you, when you were, you, I would used to be so excited. Green Warren, Batman. Man, get whatever, man. You would be so excited when that yes, issue sir. came out. You know, and this, I, I got the same feeling about this. I was just, when I was, I was just as, like, when Red and Meth came out, I was like, woo, wow. this is going to be, this is going to be hot. This is going to be yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I, but the, the one thing I was just, I was scared of about the dynamic between the two. That was the one thing that worried me about it. You know, you got you have Jay Z, the down to earth type of you know guy who keeps his keeps his uh, calm reserve. You know, he's all about his paper. You got uh, Kanye West. You know, he's a little wild child, a lyr lyrical lyrically he's cool, but beat wise he's a genius and you know and a little bit of an egomaniac. How is this going to work? Well, well here, here's the thing, and I'm glad you brought up the, the double team because this, this just just popped in my head. Yeah. Uh, the Miami Heat, the so-called dream team, mm -hmm. they didn't win the championship. No, they didn't. They did get to the finals. Okay. And I'll break this down, but that's what this album represents to me. They got to the finals. They didn't win the championship mm. with this album. Wow. Okay? Yeah. You know why they didn't win the championship? Because you can put all of these guys, you got Dwayne Wade, you got Chris Bosh, you got LeBron James, but there's only one basketball. Mm. Only one basketball. Everybody got to share the rock. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's the rock! Here, look. Same thing with the ham. Oh, excuse mm -hmm. me. Oh, excuse me. With the uh, hams on the album, Watch the Throne. Mm -hmm. Gotta share the rock some. Um, at the end of the day, Jay Z and Kanye are two different artists. Mm -hmm. They happen to be married together because Kanye was essentially put on by the rock thing, Daz, Jay Z, the whole nine. We know what's up. I mean, I know technically he, is, he learned it on NYD. We all, y'all know what I'm talking about here. He made his name with, with Jay Z, which is which is great. I like the album a lot. I like the album a lot. Like strong like, not in love with it though. Okay. And, and we, we got I don't want to get caught up in so hard in the comparison between my dark twisted fantasy by Kanye West and this album Watch the Throne. Okay. Because to me, and we discussed this beforehand, there's no I mean to me, Dark Twisted Fantasy is a much better album than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that said, it, 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 which which kind of makes that statement unfair, is that Watch the Throne is a very good album that stands on its own. As a matter of fact, I would submit to you, had it not been for the hype of Watch the Throne for so long, this album would even sound that much more better. Mm. You know what I mean? More better, mo mo better, mo better. Okay, gotcha. All right, so for me, and we'll go over the individual songs, what stands out in, in the second here, but I thought the album was very good. It was lacking to me based on what I thought it could be. Hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? I was looking for something a little bit more... I would say edgy production-wise because I know that... Although it's not like like the production doesn't lack for edge. It has. It's somewhat edgy. Hmm. But not totally edgy. Okay. You know what I mean? As compares... And here I go again. Comparing, per, comparing it to 
my dark twisted fantasy where the edgy was pretty the, the production was pretty much edgy throughout the album to mm -hmm. me you know what I mean very eclectic very uh, 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 out the box mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of that in Watch the Throne but not totally there you know what I mean but at the end of, end of the day it's so records too right. you know what I mean so uh, for me it's a very good album what, what kills the album is two things. It doesn't kill it in a bad way. I'm talking about in terms of it not being the classic that we all thought that it could have been. Two things happened. Number one, uh, the hype for the album worked against it. And also, the just the fact that I wanted a little bit better production from Kanye, and maybe exclusively Kanye throughout the album. Okay. Makes sense. Go ahead. Um, actually, you, know, you, you didn't bring that up before about the, uh, the more Kanye. But now that you said that, that, that does that does make a lot of sense. That you know that Kanye West should have been a lot more uh, uh, involved production-wise. Yeah. So, so I feel you there. Yeah. But um, but me, I I totally love this album. Um, the dynamic which I was telling you about before, I didn't know how it was going to work. Mm -hmm. um, but it does. It, it works out great, and it, and it works out in a very poetic type of way um, because you have the dynamic of Jay Z, like I said, who's who's a very down-to-earth person, I think, and he also uh, lets himself go a little bit on this one, and you also have Kanye, who comes in and says, hey, look, these are, these are my flaws, and they both come out and, 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 sit and say certain things on certain tracks that, you know, that just hit me so poetically, you know, but gave me, gave me goosebumps. I mean, the first thing that came out, of my, uh, came out of my mouth when I, when somebody asked me to describe this album was extremely poetic. You know what I'm saying? You have these two powerhouse MCs that, that just came out of the box and just started pouring their hearts out on this track or on this or on this album. Not every track is a, is a, is a hit, but I mean, I think 99.9% .9 of this album was a was a winner. I mean, you got like like Otis. To me, the going and back and forth like Run DMC, Red and Meth. I don't know how you feeling about it, but I yeah, the, the, love the, the, the Otis. Flow, the flow is nice. Here's the thing, Otis, kind of like him. Hey, uh, Otis is like an overrated song to me. Mm -hmm. I understand the trickery done with the Otis Redding sample that Kanye pulled off. That's kind of awesome in of itself. Mm -hmm. But it's okay for me. Mm -hmm. It's not great. But the flowing and the MCing is off the hook. Mm -hmm. As evidenced by their performance in MTV Music Awards. Yes. The way they play off each other is very, very Run DMC esque. Mm -hmm. You know, so they get that. I, and I'm all for that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the, uh, you know, I, it was, that, that, track is not adrenaline pumping and say okay last week we the man kid and I go out I'm in the car he gets in the car with me what am I blasting and he wanted me to play this twice because it hit him so hard he just need to understand how dope this was okay I'm playing two words by Kanye West mm. Uh, that's predict that's a that, I was, that, that was very true. I was very that little. was like, man, come on, I gotta hear it again. <laughs> Cause it's crazy. I thought you was up here lying. <laughs> that, yeah. that was very true, very true story. Yeah, I was like, man, play that play that again. Yeah, play that again. Yeah, again. Something up. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't I'm gonna tell <laughs> the truth. Uh -huh. Shame the devil. Two words. Yes. Two words, man. That's definitely what's up mm -hmm. as far as that's concerned, man. That's what I think Otis should have been. Okay. I think the album should have more. I mean, mm -hmm. are you looking? Kanye has the potential. Well, I shouldn't say the potential. He did it already. My Dark Twisted Fantasy was his potential. I mean, it was off the hook. He knocked it off the park. Mm -hmm. He knocked the, the freaking cover off the baseball, if you ask me, as far as that's concerned. Yeah. So with that speaking, it's kind of like, because this wasn't quite that album, I'm like, ah, it's a bit of a letdown. Mm -hmm. But that said, he's got some bangers on here. Should mm -hmm. I go in? Go ahead. All right. First of all, New Day, produced by RZA. RZA, one of my top, you know, five, maybe top ten producers of all time as far as hip-hop is concerned. Mm -hmm. it's, but it doesn't sound like a RZA track it sure does at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, oh, they keep saying me and the RZA, RZA connect. connect. Mm -hmm. Quiz. Pop quiz. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? Me come and the RZA correct. Where did they get that line from? Incarcerated Scarfaces. Yeah, incarcerated Scarfaces. Uh, well, off of what album? That was, um, uh, Cuban Links. Only built for Cuban Links. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> All right, Dang. awesome. <laughs> 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 it's all alive. We have to call a friend. Listen, the bomb song on here. Who gonna stop me? Mm -hmm. Off the hook. Okay. That joint is off the hook. Love that song. We had an issue with this. Welcome to the Jungle, produced by Swiss Beats. Mm -hmm. 
it is a typical Swiss Beats track. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of Swiss Beats. I don't know if you are. I, it, Swiss, it's hit, it's hit or miss with me. I think you know some Swiss Beats beats like Swiss Beats tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very fond of some of them, and this is one of them. I just they just are not grabbing me. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it, it's it's kind of kind of long and short of it. Uh, why I love you. Oh, you know what? Two. Uh, two of the uh, songs in, later in the album, um, prime, prime time and the joy. Awesome beats. Awesome flow. Uh, you know, ham. You, you guys have heard ham for like the past year. It's okay to me. Mm -hmm. You know, Otis. We talked about Otis. Uh, Welcome to the jungle. We just talked about that. Um, you know, gotta have it. Good song. Gotta have is one of the dopest you tracks know, on the okay. On Mur the Mur jump. Murder to Excellence. That's off the hook for me. Another too. one. So I mean, here's the thing. I'm, I'm naming all these songs in the album. Very. These are very good songs. Mm -hmm. The album is. The album is good. Mm -hmm. It's just not exceptional to me. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. So uh, at the end of the day, you have anything else to say before I rate this thing? No. Go ahead. Rate. Okay. It. Out of five. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the line. Give a four. Yeah, okay. Four All right. Okay. You know, four or five. Not classic status, but a very good album. You know what I mean? Again, if you take away from the hype of the album, you know, it would be a solid four for me. Straight mm -hmm. up. Okay. Well, I, I think the one unfair thing you're doing is is okay. comparing this album to my dark twisted fantasy. I got to. I, I, I know. Do. I know you kind of have to because they just came. I mean, dude. I, I know you. I, I. I mean, I kind of understand it, but it's uh, at the same time. And hey, let us let us know how you how you're feeling about this, y'all. Let me know if I'm out of line. Because if you could, if you compare the two, I mean, out of five, my my dark twisted fantasy, I would give that a seven if I could. A seven. I mean, Kanye was trying to kill people with that album. He should be uh, he, was, he, was, he was definitely he was he should be locked up for, for he should that be album. locked up for doing it. That was ridiculous. Yeah, that was a ridiculous. That was, he album. had no business doing this. That. Now this album, now comparison. If you compare the two, you know what I'm saying? That's like I mean, I I, I don't know. I can't even make up a comparison right now. But it, obviously, both of them are very very good albums. I had to almost tune out my Dark Twisted Fantasy, especially after you said that. Yeah. This man said to me, "Say how do you like the album?" I said, "I love this album." <laughs> he said, "He said well, compared to my Dark Twisted Fantasy, how is it?" I said, "Oh shit." Oh man, it sucks. <laughs> so I actually had to sit back down, tune out, forget Kanye West even made my Dark Twisted Fantasy, and listen to this album again. And I did. It's solid. It's a great album. I'm giving it a five. Not classic. Whoa! Not classic. Wait a minute. Not a classic. Wait a minute. Not classic. He said, I'm going to make him a bust for the Hall of Fame, but he's not in the Hall of Fame. You can. Well, okay, you can. Uh, no, I'm too much with that. I, I mean, it, 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 five I'm, out of five, but not a five out of five. I'm giving it a five out of five. Wow! I'm not calling it a classic just yet. Wow! Just yet? Mm -hmm. Like you still on fence about this being a classic? I'm, I'm seriously. I'm, 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 seriously, I'm a little wow. on the fence about a classic. I'm not gonna call it a classic. Somebody yet, call and correct this dude. No, well, see, yeah, please, somebody put me in line. But I love this album so much. I am giving it a five wow. out of five. Wow! I'm sorry, y'all. Wow. I love it that much. Wow. Honestly, because like all this time I'm out, I'm, I'm like, man, it's a four, it's a four, it's a four point five. No, I listen to it again and again, and I find myself listening to it over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, I love it's every, like, that's, every that's single. Might not, even, might not even be the album of the year. I don't care. I love this album. It's tight lyrically. It's tight beat wise. Except for maybe, except maybe one track on the album that I am that I am not totally in love with. Listen. I'm sorry. I am not gonna get. I'm not gonna. Give it a 4.5 because of one stupid, one stupid song that I don't like the hook of. Yo, check it. Check it. it. It's getting towards the end of the year anyway. You know we're going to start doing that year-end review. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to give you a couple of a few nominees right now for our album of the year. Mm -hmm. Obviously because you spoke on it. Watch the Throne going to have to be in the running for it. Yes. You know, I'm on, you know, me. I think uh, uh, Section 80 by Kendrick Lamar is one. Awesome album, you know. Also, you know what I thought too, and I'll be honest, and I don't want to give too much away here. I'm listening to it again. I think Elmatic, even though it is a remake, is better than Section 80. In fact, mm. for me, Elmatic is the nicest album of the year so far. To me. Really? Because it's 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 perfect in every single way, mm -hmm. every way. Odd stacked against them. What 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 hurt? What hurt? Watch the throne with all the hype. And the fact that it, the very thing that hurt Watch the Throne helps Elmatic in, in, in this way. You, I'm not, I'm not expecting much from Elzai and Elmatic. Because, dude, you're going to remake freaking Elmatic by Nas? Why are you going to do that? Who, mm -hmm. who does that? There's going to be pedestrian at best. I already heard the beats before. But the fact that he played a lot of those beats live, they're blown out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Lyrically, he puts on a, flake, a freaking clinic. 
In fact, I think lyrically it's the best album of the year. I'm with it. Elmatic so far. So far. So far. Nicest album of the year. I don't know. Yeah, we still haven't reviewed Soldier Boy's album. Yep, that's true, true, true. Soldier Boy's album true, true, might be the hottest one of the year. True, true, so true, true. And I, you know, we got the Wiz Khalifa out there. And, uh, mm, yeah, you know what? Waka Flocka is he gonna drop it? Is he gonna drop this year? Gucci, Gucci's out there. We Don't forget Gucci. Gucci. So I'm speaking too quick. That's what I'm doing. Y yeah, you're talking crazy. Gosh darn it. <laughs> But anyway, let me know if I'm out of line, y'all. Let us know. Hit us up on our Gmail account, kidandmuff44 at gmail.com. That's K-I-D-D-A-N-D-M-U-F-F-44 at gmail.com. Don't forget to hit us up on our uh, Facebook account. We are the Cypher Crew. You can also hit us up on Twitter. Cypher we are kidandmuff44 on Twitter. And don't forget to hit that little likey thing down there. Like. Hit, the, hit the little like. like thing. If you like us, whether you hate us, really a really funny like. thing was because I always go back and I look at like okay. some of the comments. Yeah. That people look. Somebody, we, this, a Lupe Fiasco joint. We we actually reviewed Lupe Fiasco, yeah. and we gave it a two point five, and then we did like a little cipher. And we was rhyming afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, we might have, we must have offended somebody because somebody said your your rhymes are two point five, asshole. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> of that, you gonna have some more um, material to, to call two point five on because the cipher crew. Our single's coming out, you know, probably within the next week. So when you guys see it uploaded, make sure you take a look at it. Put it uploaded on our Facebook account. Let us know what you think about it. Back yes. they're coming to y'all real soon. All right. Um, so let us know. Let me know if I'm online, y'all. I might be crazy. I think I might be crazy. It might be the the, the, the power trip stuff. Yeah. And he that might be an a, asshole too. He called me. I don't he know if he called some me. Type of yeah, he felt some type of way. Yeah, I felt so he didn't. Not that he disliked your rhyme. But mm. He somebody was hurt. He was hurt. He was hurt. He said your rhymes are two point five assholes. Look, I love Lupe, but shit, hit. That's a, check the cipher review of Lupe Fiasco's album. Then you will. Yeah, Hit us up. All right, y'all. We got to get out of here. We're like 15, 16 minutes into this stuff. We got to get the hell out of here. Peace. All right, y'all. Because the cypher said so, son. Peace.